Calves are born from mid-April through May. They weigh from 40 to 70 pounds at birth and wear a bright rust-colored coat for the first few months. This gradually sheds out to the dark brown coat of an adult. Numerous other species share the National Bison Range. Pronghorn rely on their keen vision and speed for survival and prefer the open space of the grasslands. They eat leafy plants found among the grasses, so do not compete with the bison for food. Smaller mammals, such as coyotes, Colombian ground squirrels, and badgers also live on the prairie. Designated a bird refuge in 1921, the National Bison Range is home to over 200 species of birds. The birds were a vital part of the grassland ecosystem. Grassland bird populations are declining rapidly as people change their habitat. Some, such as the western meadowlark, are holding their own. But many of the grassland sparrows are disappearing. The bison range provides a breeding ground for some of these, including the clay-colored and grasshopper sparrows. Whitetail and mule deer live in the bushy areas of the refuge, along Mission Creek and in draws. These species are easy to confuse until the animal runs away. The white-tailed deer will raise its long brown tail and flash the white underside. Mule deer have a white rump and a small white tail with a black tip. Black bear can be found foraging in the berry bushes in these areas. They also frequent the mountain forests of Douglas fir and ponderosa pine. At these higher elevations, there are also bighorn sheep and elk. Elk are much larger than deer and have tan-colored rumps, which contrast with their dark brown coats. The native name for elk is wapiti, which means light-colored rump. During the fall breeding season, the elk bulls round up groups of cows and bugle to their rivals. <coughs> The National Bison Range was established for wildlife protection, but it is also a place for people to enjoy their public lands. Red Sleep Mountain Drive is a 19-mile one-way gravel road, which gains 2,000 feet in elevation. The drive takes about one and a half hours, but it is worth going slowly to enjoy all the sights. Two walking trails lead off this route, the Bitterroot Trail is only a half-mile round trip. A one-mile round trip walk along the old road from the geology display takes you to the high point of the refuge. The nature trail near the day-use area provides accessible trails and interpretive panels. Along the trail is a fishing bridge on Mission Creek. To ensure the protection of wildlife and their habitat, and for your own safety and enjoyment, please obey the necessary rules and regulations. Stay in your vehicle on the scenic drives. Animals are used to vehicles, so you may enjoy some close-up views. Walk only on the designated trails. Give wildlife plenty of room and do not approach them. Leave plants and flowers in place for the animals and other visitors to enjoy. Refuge staff can answer any questions you might have to provide you with a quality experience. In 2008, the National Bison Range will celebrate its 100th anniversary. Much has been achieved in the past century, and we look forward to the challenges and successes that lie ahead. The National Bison Range is a living treasure, belonging to all Americans. We hope you will enjoy your visit and share our pride in this remarkable place.